90% of top performers have high EI, and EI stands for emotional intelligence. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about, about that in a few moments. Emotional intelligence is responsible for 58% of your job performance. And here's a significant statistic. People with high emotional intelligence make $29,000 more than those that don't. And you'll also find executives in large and small corporations and companies have higher levels of emotional intelligence than most other people. And I'm gonna describe that for you in a moment. So let me show you a couple of the tools that I use to help customers bridge the gap, clients just like you, business owners and entrepreneurs, achieve results, and individual employees, by the way. I teach in the area of vital learning, leadership, selling, customer service, and productivity skills. Those skills for myself have helped me formulate and write books, like the most recent one I've written on Let Your Emotional Intelligence Do the Talking. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that in a moment. So let me go to show you the journey of transformation. And I'm gonna do it very quickly for you. So here's what happens to most people. People and ideas and concepts go through a phase of denial, resistance, exploration, and then ultimately acceptance. That could take a day, it could take a week, or it could take a month. The significance of going through this process is that every idea, every strategy goes through this process, ultimately reaching acceptance. So let me teach you a little bit about emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence starts with a self-awareness campaign or program. We do a self-assessment to determine your skill level and how high or low or challenged your emotional intelligence is today. From there, we go to self-management exercises to teach you how to develop that emotional intelligence to the level that you want to. You're gonna tell me and tell my team exactly what do you wanna learn, how quickly do you wanna learn it, and we're gonna show you how to get there. From self-management, we go to social awareness. And social awareness has to do with things like how do you interact in a meeting? How do you interact with team members? How do you interact with your boss? We will help you bridge those gaps once we identify those gaps with you and for you. And then from there, we go to the most important component of this decade, which has to do with relationship management. People like to do business, as you've heard, with people they know, like, and trust. That's what we'll help you with. So let me give you some specific outcomes that you're gonna get in working with us and our program. You're gonna learn, number one, where you are today from an assessment standpoint. We're gonna help you bridge the gap for outcomes to improve and help you get more yeses at the end of your conversations and presentations with either your boss, your spouse, or a client, and gain greater success and effectiveness. I guarantee you that you will walk out changed and improved from working with our programs. I look forward to working with you in the future. This is Miguel de Jesus, www.coachmiguel.com.